Hey everyone, so in today's video I've got another weight loss diary. This one is probably going to be really, really, really short because I don't have a particular topic that I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to give a kind of general update in. I'm going to go straight into it by telling you my weight. I always give my start weight when I first began all this, my weight last week and my previous weight this week. When I started this on the 4th of September, I was 13 stone, 4 pounds and 4 ounces. My weight last week on the 5th of November, I was 12 stone and 1 pound. And then my latest weigh-in date on the 12th of November, I was 11 stone, 12 pounds and 6 ounces. So I have lost just a little over 2.5 pounds, which I am really happy about. You know, I'm still well, like, on track to get to my goal by my target time, so... I'm really happy about that. I've also obviously done my fat, water and muscle percentages. So my fat is 34.3, my water is 48 and my muscle is 34.1. And I'll have all the previous ones listed down below. One thing that I did want to say about all that, and this is something that never really occurred to me until I was talking to my dad about it, is obviously just because my muscle percentage is going up, that doesn't mean I'm getting more muscly. There is less of me now. So the muscle that I already have in my body is going to take up more space in my body, basically. So even if it doesn't change, you know, size at all whatsoever for the next six months, but I continue to lose fat, my muscle is going to keep continuing taking up more and more of my body. That still is obviously a good thing. That's exactly what I want to happen. But I don't want people to get confused. And I obviously don't want to get confused myself with the fact that I'm getting muscly because I'm not and obviously the more weight I lose the more defined I'm going to look because I'm not going to have fat kind of over my muscles so that's just something to keep in mind obviously like I said it's not a bad thing it's just it is what it is so I'm going to go to the pictures now this is the front picture I uh, like I've said in the last couple of videos I do feel like that big major change has already happened and then hopefully that will all of a sudden happen again but for the time being I've, I'm obviously still really happy I'm wearing clothes that I wouldn't normally wear and it's just nice to feel that a little bit more confident about my body. And then this is the side picture. I honestly I just can't get used to the non like the non-existent bloating with this diet. Like I just feel like my whole entire body just feels like someone's just popped it with a pin and I just don't feel that bloating. I don't feel any excess weight carrying around like even during the time of the month. I didn't feel that bloated as I normally would which is obviously a really nice thing and then this is the back picture which again like I always say I'm it's something that I am really happy about and I'm continuing to feel like my bum just kind of lifts slightly every week and it just it's just forming a nicer shape there's just so many things about this diet that I am like it's weird to get used to like it's weird to get used to the fact that I just don't generally have that much of an appetite like it, the food I eat just keeps me so full for so long and I really feel like sometimes it's you know so feeling that I can't even finish like my plate of food because it's it's enough for me and I think it's nice to feel like I don't have to finish the plate if I if you put a bowl of pasta in front of me I could eat the whole thing and probably feel a little bit sick after but I would be able to manage to do it whereas with the kind of foods I eat now like chicken and salad with some like cheese on top I don't feel like I have to eat at all I feel like I can eat as much to keep me full and then I'm happy for ages another thing which I, I kind of realized is that at first I was being really strict on myself I was saying like nothing that's less than you know nothing that's more than six or seven percent you know even sometimes five percent carbs and that was it and that's all I'd eat and then eventually I got to a point where I, I was thinking you know I don't need to be that strict on myself and you can actually go online and go on a keto calculator and it tells you how many grams of fat protein and carbs you can have during a day so just to give you an idea one website that I went on said that I should have 25 grams of carbs 80 grams of protein and 143 grams of fat so that's six percent 19 percent and 75 percent obviously if you look at it like that then you might have a something in your meal which is 20% carbs but then the amount you have of it might only be, be like 10 grams of carbs and compared to what you've eaten for the rest of the day that might not necessarily be a bad thing and I think it's important to you know look at all that kind of stuff because you might be surprised at the kind of things that you can actually eat you know it might just be a case of only having a little bit of something and sometimes a little bit of something is enough it's something that's nice it just kind of 
makes you feel a little bit better. It might be something that you normally add to your meal that you might feel like you can't, but then in actual fact, you can. The thing that I have pretty much avoid at all costs is sugar, because obviously that is something that is really gonna spike your insulin level. And I think as long as you make sure that you stick into the right grams, then it, it still should be something that works. And I think it's important not to kind of make yourself feel like you can't eat anything, when in actual fact, you you could probably eat quite a lot of foods. It's just a case of making sure that you've got the right portion controls. That's definitely something to bear in mind. And obviously sometimes it might be a case of, you know, if you're out and you, you know, you have to pop to a shop and get your lunch and you literally have no choice but to have one of the things that's in front of you. You might look at all the things and think, well, what at least what has the least grams of carbs? It might have a higher percentage of carbs, but you need, you do, you should also look at the amount of grams of carbs and also the amount which sugars as well because if not a lot of it sugars and it's a very small amount compared to what you can have for the whole day it might be worth eating so i think i've mentioned this before but obviously if you have any questions and you know anything that you want me to talk about or anything that you want me to go a little bit more in depth then just leave them in the comment section and then i'll answer them in my next weight loss diary video but that is all i wanted to talk about today so Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.